All right, guys, we've made it to the Temple of Purgation. And if you're saying, oh, what the heck is this killer? Well, guess what? We're playing the Skull Merchant before release. Whoa, this map. Whoa, this looks different. Holy crap. Did they overhaul this or am I like hallucinating? This looks way, way different. This is awesome looking, actually. Sorry to distract from the new killer, but my God, they have really made this look better. All right, anyway, Skull Merchant. It's an all new killer. There were a lot of theories as to what the killer was gonna be. Every theory I saw was pretty much wrong, except for one that was like talking about how the killer would be able to set up cameras. So kind of, oh, hold on. Let me scooting around here. Hello! What do we have here, Zarina? There we go, first slice. Oh, hey. All right, thank you for the slam. <laughs> She's just gonna stare me down. Hey, girl. Yes! All right, we got her. Anyway, I didn't even use my drone yet. I'm gonna tell you guys about it once I do. All right, we're gonna go and take her to a skirt hook. Cost some folks some progress. But anyway, uh, she is all about these drones. And even though I've not put one down yet, they are so good for getting intel. They can actually get a claw on survivors. Okay, wait, where are you going? And that claw, if it, if it attaches, it, what it'll do is it'll let you see the survivor on the radar that this, that this killer has. All right, this is gonna make him scream. There we go, beautiful. Oh wow, we got a bunch of survivors lit up. We know there's one upstairs now. This guy's gonna keep like looping around the, the rescue hook for some reason. Oh no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. There we go. She did not block for him. She did not give an F. Okay, anyway, I gotta start getting some drones down for you guys. What? They disconnected. Are you kidding? Okay, whatever, we're putting one in here. Ooh. She just ran right by me. Why did your friend leave? Why would they do that? Also, you notice we were undetectable in there. I did bring in a couple add-ons for my drones. All right, all right. I swear, this this uh, killer's got a huge hitbox. I get stunned with this killer so often. Okay, somebody else just, I think, got... Uh, they got a trap on them. You done goof, girl. You done goofed. We're gonna leave that pallet there for right now. There we go. All right, let's get her to this skirt hook. And then we're gonna go try to find ourselves another survivor. All right, I'm gonna put a drone down. Right over here, kind of in the path. And we know that there was, well, there were people kind of loitering over here before. Let's check this downstairs. Oh, okay, that's what my scourge burned. Okay, we could check over here, I suppose. This has no progress. Huh. This one hit. Oh, oh, oh! You know what? We're gonna let the drone do the work. She stuck around. This girl is so sneaky. Oh. All right. Hi. Guess what? You're gonna scream. There we go. <laughs> we can see exactly where she's running to. Now they didn't get the rescue. Surprisingly, that girl's about to go struggle. That's not a good play. Oh yeah, she's struggle. I cannot believe they did that to her. Oh, no way. No way we got the grab. The downside is there's not many hooks here. I think we'll make it. Is the other survivor not gonna go for it? Oh God, this is gonna be close. They're going for it. I see the scratch marks. They got it. Hey, girl. I'll leave you alone. All right, I feel bad that you went death hook.
Wait. Oh. She kept going. Wait, no, she... What? Oh, my God, guys. There she is. Hi. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Oh, she's hauling booty. I think she's going to the shack. Now, I've got one drone left that I can put down. Yeah, we'll slap it up. There we go. This is going to make her scream. Look at that intel. And it's a pretty good range, too. It's like 32 meters for that perk. Oh, man. That was not a good call. Unless you have dead heart. All right. She does not. She does not have the dead heart. Okay. Oh, and by the way, did I tell you guys? I've got a special surprise for uh, these survivors. That's right. We're going to maybe see the Mori here. All right, girl. I'm sorry. We got to do this. That's the first time up. Now, remember. Okay, so I've got my one perk activated. Oh. Ooh, we have intel. Look at that. See that radar? There's somebody at this drone. Oh, that's so cool. They're literally right here. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? <laughs> see the see the thing on her back? There we go. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, girl, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're moriable, I think. We're going to get to see the Mori. Let's go. Okay. Drone's coming in. Is it going to blast her? Oh, 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 oh. oh, my God. She went full Wolverine! Wait, oh. Girl, what the heck are you doing? Alright, you know, we'll leave her alone again. Oh, we don't have intel on the other one. I thought the other one was right here. Oh, no. Okay, well. We gotta see if we can find her. She hopped out. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is the girl I want. Oh, wait. No, it's not. This is the one that's going to die. Oh, well. Listen, we got to do what we got to do. We gave her a chance. Wait, no, no, no. This is the one I want. There we go. We got her. Uh-huh. Got her. Come on, get her with the, put the trap on her. She threw it. Oh God, this is a long loop. Hi. <laughs> Got her. I want to break this early. Is she more able? Yes, she is. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Now we get to see it more clear. Oh, that's so menacing. <laughs> I actually like that. It's simple, but it's really well done. All right. Now we got to try to find this damn shack. Or the, the hatch, rather. Oh. Hey, girl. Hey, how you doing? Oh my god. We need to get her. Oh, she had she had danced with me. There she goes. <gasps> no! <laughs> it was right there. Alright, you know what? Whatever. We got to see the Mori. She deserves it. They had somebody disconnect. It's all good. I wish that person did disconnect because I think we would have taken this to uh, Quad Town. Essentially, I really do think so. Well, or, you know, had one hatch escape. That's fine, too. We'll give them a GG first off. But let me tell you more about these perks. Unfortunately, I didn't get to use my Pentamento. I brought this in thinking that this would be a good perk to maybe run with her to slow down the game just a little bit. Because you could tell that she, you know, she's all about getting these chases. She's got a little bit of intel, 
but more or less, you know, she doesn't have any other abilities that help her attack characters, right? She doesn't have mobility. She's not zipping around like the Oni or uh, Legion or the Nurse. She's very straightforward, just reliant on her move speed. So I thought about bringing that in just, you know, again, at least get the repair speed down. But then I also brought in Pain Resonance. That was obviously to burn down gens. And then thwack, this is one of the new perks. Now this is the one that I was using when it would make them scream and then it would show me their aura for four seconds. So this is actually a pretty cool perk. It's very much intel, but it's it's based in that immediate area around the broken wall or pallet. And it lasts for about 75 seconds, so you could save it and use it in a different location as long as you've got something to break. And then I did bring in Bamboozle. Again, this is just to keep the, the pace of the chase going faster. Block off a, a window if they're trying to do like a double window loop or whatever else. I find that this helps. You get that 16 seconds of block. It can throw off a lot of survivors if they don't have a plan B. Plus that vault speed is always nice too. It gets you through windows faster. But we're going to go ahead and try this killer again. I thought that was a lot of fun. Again, this is the Skull Merchant. We're on the PTB, so we're on the test server. So I'm guessing this killer is about a month away. But so far, pretty interesting killer. All right, made to the Shelter Woods with the Skull Merchant. Now, I'm having a lot of fun with this killer, but I do want to try to explain it a little bit more this time while I've got a minute. Be oh, God, look at this. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm totally distracted because I finally get to see the new map. Oh, my God. This is so freaking weird. I need to know the backstory of this and why this exists. I, I saw a screenshot of it on Twitter. This must be the lab, I guess, where she does all her stuff. I don't know. I I'm going to have to look into this. But anyway... I didn't get to explain this too much, but she's got drones. When you leave the drones out in an area, they'll sit there for a bit. And what they'll do is they'll keep scanning. Now, survivors can run around the scan. They could dodge it. But if they actually run into it... Oh, hi. That's one of the new survivors, by the way. But if they run into the scan, uh, they're going to start to get tracked. The, the, the drone's going to go active. And then, in a you know, certain... Uh, I don't know the exact amount of time. Okay, thanks for the stun. Listen, I'm trying to explain things here. But if, if, after, like, so much time, they'll end up getting a claw attached to them which then puts them on a radar this thing here right now this guy doesn't have a claw i'm gonna go ahead and send this out now he's gonna start to get scanned there we go all right i picked him up all right so i need to learn this part of the map but anyway after the scan begins okay sir what the hell are you doing okay all right he's gonna lead me into the woods but anyway, after that scan, like I was saying, there we go. First hook. <laughs> oh my god. Um, then, if it, if they stick around in the zone long enough, what ends up happening is um, they will get exposed and they'll reveal their aura. So there's all sorts of different stuff. All right, sir, what the hell are you doing? There's also some different stuff that the drones do by default. And then there's really, really good add-ons. So, for example, right now I've got two add-ons. One actually makes it where they're exhausted when they're in the range of the drone. And the other one is where they go oblivious. I'm going to put another drone right here. Hey, buddy. So he doesn't want to get stuck in my drone. Oh, he's going to go back into it. Okay, no, he's not. He's dodging it. Uh-oh. Oh, that's bad. He's still at the pallet. Got him. Okay. Um, I don't need to break that right now. I don't think there's anybody nearby. Oh, my God. Okay, hey, look at that, though. Kate, you see those three dots on her? I think she's got a claw on her back. So if I pull up my radar after I hook him. Oh, yeah, she's upstairs. She's up there right now. All right, there's somebody down there. He's going to go hop this window. We're going to catch her outside. There we go. Oh, I don't like that that survives there. I kind of want to slash him. All right, she's going to go to the shack. Oh, she's not going to make it to the shack. Okay, you know, I should... <laughs> she wasted it. This is going to make her scream. There we go. Full intel. Block off this window. And she's running to the edge of the map. That's not the brightest thing. I gotta say, girl. There we go. That's your punishment for using your dead hard. Oh, she's got boil over, though. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna have to use, a, I think, an old-fashioned hook. Yeah, we gotta use this one right here. It's gonna be too hard to carry her to the scourge hook. All right. 
now that we don't have anybody else on radar right now no one's got a claw so let's go check that gen over here in like the middle of the map oh it's almost done he's gonna stick around to finish it Ooh! the two brothers all right he had sprint first <laughs> that was a good bait that was a good bait I, sh I should have known. I should have known what was happening there. I'm going to force him to get... To get tracked. Hey! He's, he's messing with my drone. Come on. Get exposed. Yes! See how they could get exposed if they stand up for long enough? That was perfect. We didn't have to go and mess with two different... Hits. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go over here. But you can see how that works. It's so cool. And, and that's one of the things you can do. If you've got a survivor that's being stubborn and they're sticking around in the place for too long, just kind of force them to sit in the drone. They're going to end up getting exposed. All right. We don't have any intel. Now, they are down to three gens. I don't know where these other... Whoa. Okay. Girl, what the hell are you doing back here? You take... Oh, that's blocked. Okay, that's something I didn't know. They got the other rescue. She's, she's going to keep running. She's going to keep on running. Hey, Kate. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, Kate. She's not moribble, though. Damn it. Now, remember, she's the one with boil over, so we got to make a plan quick. Oh, never mind. The plan's been made for us. We've got a hook right here. All right, all right. Also, ooh, we got somebody right here. Okay. Hold on. God, I don't want to hit that. Listen, I, I'm gonna go hit this totem real quick because I've got pent or pe pentimento. There we go. There we go. That's gonna slow them down. Hey, buddy. There we go. Nice. Then we're going to make him scream and reveal his location. Oh, we got two of them. All right, we're going to stick to the one that's that's wounded right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got him. Is he going to take me to the edge of the map again? Got him. Okay. Scourge hook right there. Oh, one of these days we're going to get to see the more. <laughs> I think we are keeping them stalled a bit, though. Okay, now we got to find something breakable. Mm. Oh! Hey, buddy! Long time no see! Wait. Where the hell did... What? He ran this way. There he goes. There he goes. Where are you going to take me? <laughs> Got him. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Get him up. We just heard the killer's voice there. Alright, I need something to break. Give me a breakable wall. Give me something so I can make him scream. There's no progress there. No progress. Whoa. Okay. I guess they're all just... Oh, hold on. There's a blue man! Hey! He's moriable. You can take me upstairs? Alright, he's going up. Oh. Okay, okay. There's another window hop there. He went back up. Same loop. You know... Alright, we got vision. I could just block that window. But I think we're going to catch him this time. Got him. Told you. There we go. Oh, they just broke my pet cemento. Alright, he's more... Wait, he's not moriable. What? Did they change our shirts? <laughs> I thought this guy was moriable. All right, we've got uh, Ace out there with a, a drone on him. All right, this guy's straight ahead. 
All right, so I get to the right a little bit. Look at that. Look at that intel. That's like intel on demand. There he goes. All right, see, look at that. The game literally led us right to him. Wait, oh, I thought he triggered this one. Okay. We're gonna let him use this loop a little bit. Oh, never mind. Okay. All right, he's going to the shack. Got to keep vision on him. There we go. We're going to hop in. Block the window. Oh, he's toast. He's toast. We got him. Oh, my God. Let's go. It's Mori time, baby. Finally. <laughs> Come here, Ace. Come here. We're going to give you... Hey, hey, you know, you're doing all right. You're doing all right. <laughs> now it's time to die. Oh my god, dude. She's seriously like the Wolverine Predator Term- No, not Terminator, I guess. I don't know. She's kind of mechanical. Oh, damn it. I wasn't paying attention. I guess we don't have any more intel here. Oh. Hold on, though. There's somebody else here. I guess not. That's gonna give us intel, though. So if that drone goes away, we know what's up. Oh. <laughs> Sir? Okay, well, I guess he just has a death wish. He's moriable as well. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. He was actually pretty well hidden, though, given that he was just standing there. His brother showed up. What the heck? <laughs> oh, come on. Don't give up. Oh, he was getting rid of the drone. Sir? Alright, yeah. We already know you got the, the sprint first. We know. Yep, hi. Hi, I've seen that trick before. <laughs> He's gonna go do the window hop on the other side. Oh. What? Oh my god. Oh, he actually didn't use the, uh, the, the hop. I think we got him now. I don't think he's got anything to work with. Got him. Oh my god. Oh, he's moriable as well. Let's go! Right on the ramp. Listen, even if the other person gets a hatch, I'm okay with it. Now you join your brother! <laughs> uh, you know, I'm surprised though that, that she doesn't collect their skull. Alright, we need to find this hatch, like, right now. I should... I actually don't know if the spawns are any different here. Because this map variant is different. Oh no. I'm not hearing it. Come on! We don't have her on, it, on radar. Oh! She's, oh god, no. She might get to it. We need to cut her off. Girl! <laughs> you stop it now! <laughs> you get the hell out of here! We're actually kind of leading her where I think it's already been checked. So that's the only good thing about this right now. Hi. Come on, let me get that slice! Oh my god. We just gotta keep her contained. Keep her contained. Don't let her cross over. She cannot cross over. <laughs> I mean, except if she's going to cross over into the afterlife. That's okay. It might be in the middle. Oh my god. I thought, I thought, I actually thought she got a. Wait. I'm sorry, girl. We got the quad mori. Let's go! Oh my god. Four skulls in one match. Beautiful. Oh, with the dramatic lighting and everything. <laughs> All right. I don't know where the hatch was. I'm guessing it was in the corner that she was running towards. Thank god we got her away from there. Oh man, oh man. 
Alright, give them a little GG. That was fun. I gotta say, this killer, when it, it first came out and I was looking at the perks and stuff... Now, granted, I'm only running one of the new perks right now. There's a couple others. But, I, I had some, you know, kind of conflicting thoughts as to how she was gonna play. If this is gonna be an exciting chapter or not. I will say that so far, playing as her, I'm actually enjoying it. I like this intel. I think it's so cool when you get the claw on them and you get the, the you know, get them to show up on your radar. There's also lots of add-ons. Like I said, look at this. These are greens. And this one, when they're in the drone's active zone, they suffer from oblivious. And it continues for 15 seconds after they leave. All they have to do is get into the active zone. That's it. Once the drone activates, they're oblivious. And they're, here's exhausted. So you get them exhausted where they can't use their perk. And it lingers for three seconds after leaving the area. So, you know, that's also a nice little perk right there. Can definitely interfere with their plans to escape. Also, you can see here I use Pentimento. Again, I was trying to use that mainly for the first tier. I wanted that... Repair speed reduction. Very, very cool killer though so far. I think that map variant's pretty interesting as well. Um, there's that whole new area where there's different hops for survivors to use. They do seem pretty strong too. I mean, it seems like survivors can, you know, do some good loops with them. Uh, also, since we're here, before I just wrap up this episode, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys also the other perks. So you've seen Thwack in action. Uh, there's also leverage. Now, the way leverage works now, granted, this is the, we're looking at the, the yellow version. I've got the others where, you know, it's, it, they're all the way maxed. But this one, each time that you hook a survivor, you gain a token, and you could have up to 10. And as far as I can tell, you don't lose these tokens. But when you hook a survivor, it activates, and then for each token you have, remember, up to 10, it reduces the speed at which survivors heal by 3% in this case, but it goes all the way up to 5% for 30 seconds. So each time you hook a survivor, if you've got other survivors that are wounded, they need to get healed up or whatever else, then it's going to take them a lot longer to heal up. Now, I will say that if you could keep Pentimento going, that's good for 30% at that tier 2 uh, Pentimento. So this maxes out at 50% reduction, but this one can't be cancelled. So as you're building up these tokens, they're just going to have to deal with it. Also, there's Game of Foot. Now this one's kind of interesting as well. Also a uh, break type of mechanic like Thwack, but it's kind of reversed. This is when you're, you break stuff when you're in a chase, versus this is where you break something after you hook a survivor. So they, they conflict a little bit, they, you know, they're kind of like opposites, but some people might like this one better than the other. So this says, when you're chasing the obsession, this perk activates. Now let me pause there for a second, look at the bottom. It says, whenever you hit a survivor with the total most time in chase, with a basic attack, they become the obsession. So you can really turn anyone you want into the obsession, as long as they're the ones that you've been chasing the most. With that in mind, it says damaging generators and breaking walls or pallets gives you a 5% haste status for 8 seconds. And there's no cooldown on this. If, you, if you're breaking pallet after pallet after pallet, you're going to keep getting this haste bonus. And that haste bonus, if I recall correctly, increases either that or the seconds. I'd have to double check. Actually, no, I think it's the seconds. But this, you know, again, it's a, a different mechanic here than getting intel with Thwack. This one, you're getting speed in the chase. But what I've built so far, I'm actually kind of liking this build so far. This has been working for me. I think Thwack right now is my favorite perk. And uh, yeah, this has been, again, a lot of fun. You guys will have to let me know, though, what you think of the Skull Merchant in the comments down below. And stay tuned. I'm going to have more footage coming up of the Skull Merchant. And with me playing against it with the two new survivors, I'm going to give you a quick preview of those, actually, real quick, too. But uh, there's two brand new survivors. I've already got one leveled up quite a bit. But there's both a guy and a girl. Here's the girl. This is, uh, oh god, what's her name? Uh, her name is Thalita Lyra. So she's got three new perks. I'll just go over those real quick. So her perks are friendly competition. This is where uh, her and, you know, any other survivors that are working on the gen together, if they finish it together, they get increased repair progress for a, a significant duration of time as this levels up. Teamwork, power of two. Um, this one is whenever you finish healing another survivor, you both move 5% faster as long as you stay within 12 meters of the survivor you healed or until one of you loses a health state. And then also there's cut loose. So whenever this is active, your rush vaults are silent for up to four seconds at low tier and uh, successfully performing a rush vault during that time resets the timer. That four seconds increases over time. Now here, let me show you. I've also got Renato Lyra, also another one of the new survivors. And this guy I've got actually maxed out. So I've got him up to uh, level 50. So this perk, Blood Rush, I think is the most interesting one they've added in this update with these characters. So this one says, while healthy, running, and suffering from exhaustion. So again, you need to be exhausted. You need to have used it. So this isn't going to apply to Dead Hard. Unless you use Dead Hard and then like use like a syringe or something uh, to get healed up. But if you didn't do that, then it's going to be for things like Lithe or Sprint Burst or whatever else. But while you're healthy, 
You can press your active ability one and get this. You will lose a health state, so you will actually injure yourself. But you'll recover from your exhaustion instantly, meaning that you get to use your exhaustion perk again. The downside is you gain broken for 24 seconds, so you're not going to be able to be healed. But get this. Here's the twist. You are automatically healed from injured to healthy after 24 seconds. So, obviously, if you get put in the dying state, that cancels. But you could literally injure yourself, get another exhaustion run of, let's say, Lithe, or Balanced Landing, or Sprint Burst. But <laughs> you'll get healthy again as long as you could run the killer for another 24 seconds. I think this is so cool. This is one of the most creative perks I think they've, they've come up with in a while. Also, he's got Teamwork Collective Stealth. So whenever another survivor finishes healing you, you both leave no scratch marks as long as you stay within 12 meters of the survivor who healed you or until one of you loses a health state. So again, this is one of those ones just like with the other survivor where, you know, it's, it's encouraging teamwork, encouraging you to stay close to somebody and having no scratch marks can be pretty huge given that a heal just happened. So you, chances are you're probably both healed up. Also, if you go to the blood web, we can see the last one is called background player. So this is after unhooking another survivor, you break into a sprint at 150% your normal speed and gain exhaustion. So this is interesting because you can use this to get a, you know, potentially like a high risk rescue. And let's just say that you're not feeling like trying to get a survivor to take a hit for you. You're just like, I got to get the heck out of here. So the second you unhook, you could just zoom off and you get six seconds of runtime. But obviously then you're exhausted. So, so obviously that's all you're going to have to work with uh, th through the rest of the chase if the killer decides to lock onto you. But still an interesting perk. I can see some survivors out there running this. I think it's going to be interesting to see survivors run this, especially as a killer, because I think it'll throw some killers off to see a, a survivor zoom off like that. But anyway, guys, thank you again for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe. I'd love to have you guys join the community. We've got an awesome group of folks here in the comments and also that come out to the live stream. And as a reminder, I stream on Twitch every Sunday, usually about 10.30 p.m. Central, where you know, getting live around that time. So be sure to pop in there. And as mentioned earlier, be sure to keep an eye on YouTube. I've got more footage coming, including matches against the Skull Merchant. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time.